There's a new feature when it comes to community tab on YouTube. Stick around. Today's new feature in the YouTube community tab is related to polls. Polls is one of the most engaging features of the community tab. People love to give their opinion by voting in a poll and leaving a comment below. So how can you up your game when it comes to polls? Well, if you have an Android device, you could probably do it right now with a new feature called Image Polls. Let's check it out on my Android phone. First of all, Android. You wanna to go to your YouTube app, open that up. Obviously you wanna be on an account where you have access to community tab, which means you have over 500 subscribers. So when you go to do a new community tab, of course, you can hit the plus button and create a post. And here it says, I can share an image, start a caption, different things like that, all the typical things. If you look at the bottom, you have the image logo, but on the far left, you've got the one with the bars, that is a polls, so you're gonna tap that. And instead of just going straight in to start a poll, it's asking, do you wanna do a text poll or an image poll? So we're gonna do an image poll for this demonstration because this is the new feature. Right now, it gives me two options. I can put in up to four options for the image poll. So let's go drop in option number one by tapping it. And it takes us to our camera roll. Now we're gonna do a little poll on short form video. So let's start with, let's say TikTok. So we're gonna put the TikTok logo as an image there. Below it says option one, we can tap on that and just write TikTok. Then we can tap on the second one, bring in the second one, let's make it Instagram Reels. Let that load up and we can go, um, we'll just call it Reels just to keep it easy. You know, Facebook has Reels now. Now I wanna add uh, a couple more options. So I'm gonna say add options. It's gonna give me uh, two more down below. Tap on the third one. We're gonna put in shorts for YouTube shorts. I'm just gonna call it shorts. Now the fourth option is, we're gonna say all three. It's like all of the above. Okay, there are four options. Up the top there where it says ask your community, you actually wanna put the poll question in. We haven't done that yet. So we're gonna put the poll question in. We're gonna say which short form video. This is actually gonna be on my channel. You'll see that it already exists on my channel so you'll get to see it. From the other side, if you haven't seen that yet, then you can go to my community tab and you'll see this poll post or image poll post is already live. Make sure I've got no spelling errors there. Which short form content platform do you prefer to upload to? Now that I've got all my images in there, I can just click post at the top and that is going to my channel right the second that I'm recording. It says post created there and I can click on view. It's gonna show you what my post looks like on the Android device in the YouTube app, and that is live on my channel. That is another way to grab attention because images grab attention a whole lot better than just text. So we expect that image polls should get a better response than word polls. Of course, just because it grabs people's attention, it stops them from scrolling a lot better than say straight text. If they seem to be scooting past your community post, say in the subscription feed on a mobile device or in some other dedicated place where it will uh, show up as people are browsing YouTube. And of course, once you've published it on an Android phone, it's gonna appear in all the poll places. This is on desktop, you'll see it on iOS devices as well. Wherever posts show up on YouTube, you'll be able to see an image poll. So if you have an Android phone, you should be able to access this right now. They say it's gonna be coming later to iOS users and to desktop subsequently. So be on the lookout for that. I think now that they've enabled multiple image posts on iOS in the last few weeks, that you'll see this roll out to iOS sooner rather than later. That is just my opinion. That is not anything that's been officially announced, but we do know that it will be coming. So let me know if you're on Android, you already have it. Are you already using it? Will you use it? For those that don't yet have it because they're on iOS or just use desktop, let me know in the comments below if that is something that you would use. One thing I wanted to mention, a resource called Invado Elements. They're a site that is a one-stop shop for your stock footage, images, music, infographics, templates for various software, and a whole lot more. They have over 55 million assets to choose from. So if you're looking for something, it's likely that Envato Elements probably has it. So if you wanna check them out and 
utilize the stock footage or the images. I highly recommend Envato Elements with their super simple licensing system and their monthly subscription, which just gives you access to everything on their site with unlimited use of their assets for a low monthly price. So make sure you go check out Envato Elements today using the link I've got in the description of the video. I've been talking about a lot of YouTube features recently. The last video I did, Gone Gangbusters, the new research tab on YouTube analytics. So if you wanna check that out, you can check this video up here. Well, this is Doug. Make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you later. Subscribe to Doug Hughes and YT for more tech for content creation.